guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we have the BSDRacing.com. This is the Storm Baja 10E. It's a 110 scale, two wheel drive, waterproof Baja buggy. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio. So without further ado, let's get into what comes in the box. Saved you that one. Now I want to kind of give you the heads up too, is uh, this takes eight AA batteries, but I will put a link in the description below for this vehicle, along with other things that are going on with Banggood. 11.11 .11 is their whole, um, sale that's going on so uh you'll put all those links in the description below so you guys can save money on all different kinds of rc stuff anyhow it supports the channel too as far as if you use those links so i definitely appreciate that one so the eight AA batteries that are in here so yeah that's that part of it now when i opened this thing up i knew right away i was like smells like a red cat right so wherever red cat gets their vehicles exactly from now i am a dealer for red cat and i do get these parts so if by chance you get one of these you're in the u.s and you're like hey man i broke this part we can get those for you so that's a nice thing um, in itself the instructions not too bad there, there's some exploded views that are in there whatever there's some adjustments when it comes to the electronic speed controller you know on setting on lipo or nickel metal but this does come with the nickel metal hydride battery now unfortunately speaking of battery the wall charger is not compatible with anything in my area which is this what i use over there my little label maker but anyway my outlet so yeah that's not going to work probably if i had a different adapter but i don't use these anyway just because of the fact i have a, a better charger anyway i can peak charge everything now you do get the straw for your antenna which is hanging out right here i'd probably just put this thing tuck it on the inside of it and then you do get the binding plug as well. The binding plug is going to more or less going to be if by chance the, you replace a receiver with the same type and uh, you need to rebind stuff up or whatever. Sometimes they come unbinded for whatever reason if they get wet. I've had it happen with my clawback from Red Cat and I just rebinded everything and it started working again. So it's cool on that one. I did take the body uh, pins or clips out just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a spin so you guys can see it. And this, this, is not, this doesn't come with it. So just to kind of let you guys know that part of it but i do like it and like i said it is like the cyclone so again you get parts for it um the site i like this one a little bit better than the cyclone just because it doesn't have that two-in-one system and i like this kind of the paint scheme that's on there anyhow um i did put the wing on there so when you do get this it is separate so you just have to make sure that you do that and there's how that kind of all gets assembled on there as well so yeah now the downside too is that it does have bushings and not bearings and if you don't know what bushings are and what bearings are go ahead and you can just youtube that and it'll show you the difference between the two bearings are what are ideal because these don't run smooth they're just metal on metal more like so i'll have to oil these up a little bit and then eventually down the road or whatever just replace them with bearings so we get a nice smooth run because it will definitely help with performance and run time as well not so much stress on the motor all right, let's get this thing off. I already took the body clips off just to kind of make it a little bit quicker for you guys, but um, just to kind of show you in real time, taking the body off, less the pins or clips. So yeah, let's kind of back that up a little bit. So yeah, there's the little bit of the body that's there. All right, so you do get the battery with it, nickel metal hydride battery. We'll go ahead and get that little clip off of there. All right, so body, that little clip's out. Slide this off and then get to your nickel metal hydride battery now it's hard to see it now at first i was like oh it doesn't even say anything but it does say it on there you can see it nickel metal hydride 1800 milliamps it says 10 c on there 7.2 volts so there you go it's not the best but it'll get you going you know again if you don't have the wall charger uh the right one the adapter or anything like that then you're gonna have to get your own charger for it um unless somehow you let them know maybe they have different uh RCs and they have you know with the different charger or they come with different adapters here's your on and off switch that's in there as well the electronic speed controller that's sitting in there along with the receiver have metal or steel dog bones that are in here as well the turnbuckles are nice because they are metal and you can adjust them so they're not anything like oh you can't adjust any of that stuff so that is nice that you can and uh, you know as far as your adjustments on your shocks too now they are plastic all throughout other than the fact that as far as the piston or the shock the shock shaft itself and just the springs are steel i don't know so. about the transmission i almost say that they're probably bushings as well now it's a 540 motor that's in here but yeah let me know what you guys think about this vehicle anyhow you know it's something like you guys are interested in but i'm going to go ahead and get a running video of this thing here in the next couple days see how fast it goes and yeah we'll see how you know because like the cyclone one from red cat did like 20 miles an hour is what they say we'll see how fast this one goes 
We might do some other little stuff to it too to make it a little bit faster. Maybe a brushless system in there. You know, I don't know because it is plastic stuff that's in there and I'm sure it's 48 pitch when it comes to the gears in here. So we'll have to see if this thing's got a slipper clutch and all that good fun stuff that's in there. But I'll tear that down and let you guys know if, if you want to. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, but I appreciate all you guys watching. Don't forget, I have the links in the description below, not just for this vehicle, but I'll have them for all the stuff that's going on with Banggood. So you can get all, jump on all types, all types of promotions and all that good fun stuff, save you guys some extra money. But until next time, this is Joe with omgrc.com, getting out of here. And don't forget to go over to our website, omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter, check us out. I'll catch you on the next video. You guys take care. See you.